You're always looking for sexy, but smart is sexy. Danny was a catalyst for a lot of people. Lou Reed, Iggy, the whole Warhol gang. He seemed to be at the pulse of the underground. All of the bands that were in Danny's universe had a great influence. They were doing something that nobody else was doing. Danny's a connector, like a fuel line. It's a place where things are liable to erupt. Here I was with this magazine. John Lennon said, I'm more popular than Jesus. What did I do? Didn't have to put Jesus Christ on the top of the page. Those the little things I do to make trouble. You know, that's my life story. All that publicity about the doors, you made all that happen. And he said, no. Which is, of course, the brilliant publicist way to answer that question. I said, say, Jim, I'm staying with a chanteuse called Nico. And I thought he would fall in love with Nico. Then my plot would be on its way. I was just poised for being slammed with something that was full of blood and vigor. We did so many terrible things to black a Danny's reputation. <laughs> yeah. The Stooges did not have so Songs written and Iggy was strung out. Danny screamed, go to the hotel tonight and write songs. I Want to Be Your Dog, 1969. All of that came out of one night's production. The Ramones knocked me over like atomic wind. I just said right away, I want to be your manager. This was a guy who would look at something that nobody else was really ready to see, and he'd say, this should be everywhere. How much power can you get out of a performance? That was the meaning of that revolution. He's been handmaiden to the gods, some of the most important people in music. Life isn't long enough to see everything that happens. It takes more time than that when it comes to things that will endure. Nothing was ever the same. This music went on to take over the world. <laughs> Be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's the worst case, but you know.